Hello and welcome to today's tutorial by Quick Tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how you can fix Clip Studio Paint. Not starting and yeah, before we get into the video, I would like to say some things. First of all, if you find one of the fixes not helpful or you already tried it, just skip to the next one. I have a few lined up and yeah we will go to from the easy fixes to the um, much more complicated or advanced fixes I, I should say and yeah if you find my video uh, helpful at all then please leave a like please support the channel by subscribing leave a comment share with a friend i would really really appreciate it and yeah let's get into the video so first of all, if your application is not starting, I want you to go onto your uh, application and press right click. Pretty easy. And I want you to go down to properties. Uh, that's the easiest fix and a common problem. Um, and then I want you to go to compatibility. And um, basically I want you to go to uh, compatibility mode, navigate to run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8 and basically uh, if you have like uh, a more previous version of Windows uh, I want you to select it but in most cases you should select Windows 8 and uh, everything else please leave it turned off reduce color mode is not our concern run in 640 also not uh, important for us but what I want you to click on is on run this program as an administrator so you can ensure that there are not um, some issues with your um, uh, to click on this um, it makes sure that you don't have any issues with not you're not having enough um yeah and then if you run it as an admin administrator there can't be any issues with uh, some There can't be any oh, there can't be any authorization issues or anything. So um, yeah, if you run this in administrator, uh, it will definitely start. You will have authorization to run the program or the application, and yeah, that's why you want to click this. And this is because sometimes uh, in compat compatibility mode, you can get the program to start. So let's hit apply and OK. And now you can double click and start the application. I'm not going to do that, but I will move to the next to the next fix I have for you. So basically what I want you to do is uh, press right click, go down to task manager uh, on your taskbar, left click on task manager, open up your task manager. I'm going to maximize it for you. And you will see that there are a lot of um, programs open right now. They all are uh, sharing my CPU, my GPU power. So if there are any programs, like for example, I have Steam open in the background. I can show you this really quick. Uh, I just want you to hit end task um, and then the task will close. It will free up some GPU, CPU for you, some memory as well. And this as well will help you to uh, start the program. Also, you can look up in performance if there are any uh, big hits or your graph shows that your memory is pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, your memory is not Uh, there's an issue with your memory or CPU, GPU, you should uh, f um, think about upgrading your PC 
uh, even uh, but before that you should of course look into processes and close all the uh, irrelevant um, programs that you don't need at the moment yeah and also you can uh, go on to the tab startup and here you can disable some of the programs like for example parsec is disabled but if it would be enabled you can disable it by right clicking uh, or here you can disable it you see for example iq that's for my lighting on my pc you can disable it it also has an impact on your startup and yeah you can ensure that your pc runs smoothly and new programs uh, get started uh, and don't uh, and don't yeah and get started yeah basically that's it yeah so let's close that and go to the next fix so the thing is uh, sometimes programs don't start and that's also uh, visual uh, visualized in the task manager so for example if i fire up steam and it's not starting for me personally it helped that i close every tab that has steam in its name and then i restart the program and if it's not working then i want you to restart the pc once but sometimes there can be an error in the background from some temporary files that uh, are holding off the startup of the program and yeah that's why i want to close uh, i close every tab every um, application here and then try again and after that i reset my pc but also i know that's an easy fix we also have to um, go to control panel and um, sometimes if uh, your program is running in the background and you have an issue with your um, with your SSD or HDD with your storage you should sometimes um, do a little clean up this cleanup you can achieve that by going to your control panel you can search for it down here or double click on your desktop and uh, yeah you will go down to system and security and administrative tools and click on this clean up and here you can select the drive you want to clean up this will also ensure that temporary uh, um, temporary files will get deleted and this also can help you to um, to run the pc more smoothly in general but also to uh, ensure that everything uh, starts when it should start yeah and now i want you to uh, go to crawl control panel for the last fix uh, once again um, as i already showed you can also go to uh, uninstall programs if you really have an issue tried any, everything you can just go down to your program i'm gonna select um, anything here for example microsoft teams you can uh, go on uninstall and just download the program once again i know it can be uh, a little bit uh, annoying if you have not the best internet connection but i want you to know if you reinstall the program oftentimes the problem is solved and if that's not uh, of any help to you uh, the last thing i can recommend you is to go to your um, to windows defender or if you have any other firewall and to look up if your application causes any any errors or any auto blockade from your from your windows defender from your um from your firewall and i want you to exclude it so for example um if you uh if you go uh, to allow apps to communicate through uh, windows firewall sometimes some uh, apps are not allowed and i just want you to uh, click on for example private and public allow your um, allow your program to run and yeah also you can uh, turn your windows firewall on or off you can turn it off if it's still not working or you can go to advanced settings and try to um, 
to create a new outbound rule, inbound rule. Um, and basically, you want to say that by, with a new rule, you can, for example, um, uh, go to program and you you want i want just you just want to allow the program to run basically and here there are many options i'm not going to show you how to exactly how to exactly do your settings for you i don't want to make this video too long for you here you have to play around try some things out allow uh, inbound and outbound in uh, inbound and outbound rule to uh, uh, let your program your program run and uh, just make sure that there is like this white uh, this green the green symbol that the green tick is like right here and yeah so um, actually the Windows Defender or your firewall in general is, uh, for me personally, in my past experience, is one of the biggest problems. So if restarting isn't working, if closing all the tabs isn't working, if closing other applications isn't working, if running it as, a, as an administrator isn't working, please just play around with your firewall. I don't have a firewall except for Windows Defender. So I can't show you how your firewall is working. Um, how it, how you can exclude a program from the firewall and yeah basically you have to play around here and yeah I hope I could help you with your problem if not please write the description of your problem in the comments I'm happy to reply to every comment and yeah if you found any helpful tips in my video I would really appreciate a like comment subscribe as I already said and please have a nice day for me. Stay sharp. Love you. Goodbye.